3D Boxing here with the superstar, multi-time national champ, undefeated professional, David Cardenas. What's it like being 18, 18? Yes, sir. And being an absolute superstar. You walk in here, Calvin Johnson's here. Best player, well, was the best player on the Spurs until now. Right, you got this whole entourage that's 18 years old. What's that like? Blessing, you know, uh, I worked my whole life, I worked hard, uh, just, it feels good, you know, have, have them have my back. Speak up a little bit. It feels, it feels good, you know, it's a blessing, uh, have them have my back, be, my, be there to support me, they're like my brothers, you know, so it's, it's a blessing. You had a sensational amateur career, yeah. multi-time national champion, all world, you turned pro three weeks ago or so, four weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, really good performance. How did it feel to do it with the eight ounce gloves? No headgear, you know, no shirt. What was it like? You know, what was the difference with those eight ounce gloves? Oh man, it felt like uh, uh, no headgear. You can see everything. You felt more like more free, more freedom. You know, like no shirt. You know, light gloves. You can feel everything when you punch the, when you punch them in the head. From my hands, uh, I actually got I actually got hit in the eye. You, you, you can feel the punches now, so it's a, it's a it's a big difference. What, what was the bigger difference? Getting hit with eight ounce gloves or the power that you have? With eight ounce, what, what, like what's the bigger I, I adjustment? Think, I think the power, because man, the, the way the way like you know, I walked them down, I was just little by little just breaking them down. You know, an amateur, it's, it's way different. So I, I want to ask you, right? Because you had Rick Nunez work in your corner. Uh, yeah, I had Rick Nunez. Yeah. The first round, you seemed a little nervous, a little yeah. jittery, and then the second round. You took care of business. Were they a little nervous? Your pro debut, a little, a little jittery. Uh, Walk me through that first round. I, was, I, was, I wasn't as nervous, but I think when I when I the first round, I was a little anxious. I was like, I didn't want to do too much or do too too like too little, and uh, I didn't want to get caught. Honestly, that's that was my big. Uh, I didn't want to get hit with something, and I was like, damn. So uh, what I do, you know? And I went to the corner after the first round. I uh, was talking to Rick. You know, he said, calm down a little bit. You're good. You did good. Just calm down. I'm a little too, I think he said like a little too jumpy. And then I was like, all right, cool, you know, I took, took, took a couple deep breaths, uh, went to the second round, and just got back in my flow, and I went to work. Stop. The second round was sensational. You knocked him out quick. He showed a lot of emotion. Like, you, you seemed really pumped. I've never, I've seen you win national titles. I've never seen you that excited. What was that like getting that first, that getting your first knockout, your first professional fight? It felt great, you know, uh, finally, like, being able to actually, you know, experience the, like, the, the pro level. Now, hopefully, uh, hopefully, tomorrow, Saturday, tomorrow night, get another knockout, another win, hopefully. So, you're 1 0 right now. Tomorrow, assuming everything goes well, you'll be 2 0 with two knockouts. What do you know about your opponent and what do you expect from tomorrow? Uh, I don't know too much. I don't know. I think he had like two fights, three fights. He's from Oklahoma, but that's, that's really all I know. He's a bigger dude. I'm moving up, but there's no problem. You know, uh, I've, I've worked hard in camp, so it shouldn't be a problem. I, I wanted to ask you about that. Um, your weight, what's the best weight for you? You know, I know at this stage in your career, you're going to take the fights as you can get them, but when you're you know, at that next level, at the world class level, what weight do you feel like you're going to you know, settle in at? Uh, 105. 105. Minimum weight, 105. 105. What did you weigh? What did you weigh last week? Like, what did you? Uh, one. Well, like last fight, I think I walked in like at one fourteen. Yeah, one hundred five. I, I mean, I, what do you? Is that what you walk around at? Like at one one twenty. Okay. So it shouldn't be a big problem, you know. This this weight cut was like super easy. Honestly, like, I wasn't even. I was working out my whole camp and just shirt and shorts. I didn't even have to like no sauna suit, nothing. Uh, but one hundred five. One hundred five. Then work my way at one twelve. You know. Yeah. Let me ask you this: better achievement? What did you, you prefer, winning a national title or winning your pro debut? What, what's a cooler feeling? Uh, I think I think winning my pro debut. That was you no, know, because you dream about that. You dream about making that next level, the pro, the pros. I think that 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 it made me more happy. I was more excited. There was this great current current crop of of fighters from San Antonio: Mario, Bam. Uh, Ramon Cardenas fights, right? Uh, Josh, right? There's so many good fighters for San Antonio. And now there's a guys, you know, 10 years or so younger than them, like yourself. Is there pressure then? What's it like to be, you know, Ricky Nunez, little Ricky fighting on the call? What's it like to be that next crop of great fighters from San Antonio? Uh, no, pr I don't, no pressure at all, you know. It's, uh, I gotta get the job done no matter what, you know. At the end of the day, it's, it's, uh, my career, so I gotta keep building it. You know, the legacy in San Antonio, I gotta keep building it, keep going. Me and, me and Ricky, one of my cousins, we're gonna, we gonna, uh, we gonna play San Antonio for sure. I wanna ask you, two, two of your fellow two tenors got big fights coming up. Bam Rodriguez got a unification fight with Sonny Edwards. Uh, it's gonna be in Arizona on December 16th. Who do you got in that? Bam, 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 sure. Bam, 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 B
Sony's got no power, you got no power, you're gonna have trouble so. with Bam. He's he too flashy. Yeah. I, mean, he, I think Bam will walk him down and cut, cut that out. Yeah. Sure. In another fight, someone I know you know real well, Mario Barrios, is fighting Ugas on the Canelo on, Canelo Trollo undercard. Yeah. What do you got? I, I think Mario Mario too, uh, you know how box him, you know, put his put his uh, boxing skills to work. And he, you think he's gonna box him or you think he's gonna bang with him? I think uh Hopefully he bosses them. Hopefully, I mean, either way, Mario. I think Mario will take it either way. Big Mario. I, I think if if he if he uses his boxing skills, you know, box him on the outside, he'll do good. Dave Cardenas, uh, undefeated professional. How many times national champ? Uh, three times. Three time national champ. Future of San Antonio boxing. Tell them where they can find you on social uh, Instagram, media. Instagram, uh, Cardenas David. Uh, Facebook, David Anthony Cardenas. Uh, Twitter, Two Ten David. And, uh, that's about it. God bless you. Thank you for your time. You.